you know what I think about is like there are there has to be a thousand or so men that would love to just suck the boogers out of your nose. They're so into you. They would just <laughs> suck it like bone marrow. You know, get the good stuff. And that's not, you know, that's not anything that that's kind of a cool thing, don't you think? There's that many guys. What are you guys? talking about? A cool thing? Yeah, that the, people would want to do that to me? Yeah, because you're ja you're Jamie Lynn Sigler. You're be, no, you're on the Sopranos, and they want to me. suck you. They want to suck you down. You're yeah, on the cool. Sopranos. <laughs> yeah, you're on it. Uh, well, I know I know a guy who maybe sucked the boogers out of your nose, but what I want to say is what? Oh yeah, there. Is this another thing? Surprise thing? No, 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 okay. not really, not at all. Okay. The the um. So Barstool Sports does a fantasy football league. I think this mm -hmm. is their first year. Oh, really? Yeah, and they That's had to weird. figure out a punishment or like maybe it's their first like big right? year. And they 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 uh had to figure out a punishment for the person who loses mm, right. the thing. So the person who loses their fantasy football has to put together this 1000 piece puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> is that a real person? Is that someone at Barstool Sports? You don't know who that is, Jamie? Is that Jerry? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh. That's Jamie's ex boyfriend, yeah. right? You yeah. didn't marry this guy. No, no, I did not marry him. No. Jerry Ferrara? Yes. From Entourage. And so yeah. you're saying he sucked her boogers? He I'm did saying not suck my boogers. You don't know. No one has ever sucked my boogers. I had a girl blow my boogers one time. What the what the fuck what do you mean, does that what, mean? She yeah, Rob. I, I've actually spoke about this girl on the podcast before, but she so she we were like not even like mid sex or anything. Like she just we were watching TV and she came over. She put her nose, she put her mouth over my nose and blew as hard as she could, and it shot all my boogers into my mouth. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck did you just do? Like you've never felt any. Is that like a, a party trick she has? She or thought it was like the fun. She's like, yeah, when we were kids, like we used to do that to each other. Like blah blah blah, and I was like, "Don't ever fucking do that to me again." I feel like that's the can type be a of girl headache. that have like pet frogs. Yeah, what? Yeah, you know is what I mean. Keeps them in a shoe what, box. Who is, who is this girl? Which she one is put. She? I couldn't tell you who What's she the is other there. Story? But she's, was it a nice experience? No, horrible. That's why I said, "Don't ever do it again." Yeah. Are you? I didn't hear attention? that part. Never. No, he never. He's all. He's all up here. I'm in my me, own me, music me. video. Yeah, uh, yeah. Most of the time, music video. I'm What's in my own music video. Oh, it's like '80s '80s pop. Yeah, that's my music video. Androgynous. Get out of my music video. Where I dress like a chick, but I'm of, I'm also a guy, and but like chicks love guys that look like girls. That time, mm. you looked like every guy in an '80s music video, right? You think like so? you turn on MTV and it was just a whole bunch of Casims. Wait, right? you think so? Wait, <laughs> was I represented? Ca wait, Casim the other day at my house. Oh no! Busted out into song, <laughs> and all of us, even so Bo, was like, "Whoa, that was." Great. Yeah, I think he it surprised has all of us. Freakish musical talent under there. No, I think no. you guys it caught was like one you in did, a million you had like a riff. You had like vibrato. <laughs> Can you give you, the people a yes, taste? Please. No, dude. Oh, I don't even. So I would sad. have to hear it. No, it's because right. It was right after I had to hear it. Uh, you, there's a song Rob keeps playing for me. It's called. Uh, <laughs> By the way, keeps playing for him means one time in his car I played it for him. <laughs> Yeah, keeps playing for he me. He keeps all he does what is, is play this, guy this song. What talking about? It's called "At the End of the World." If the world was over, <laughs> if the world yeah. was ending. Okay. Yeah. And there's a there's a part in it, and then I don't know why, but I heard it in the music video. But it was like a cover of Hold it. Hold on. No. Then, wait. No. You you, uh, you went at, you heard someone on Instagram. Jennifer saying, Love like, Hewitt. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was oh yeah. We go got there. deep I into the Jennifer go Love Hewitt Instagram. So Jennifer Love Hewitt's a beautiful singer, and she she. Did like her own little <laughs> rendition, I guess, and they were watching it. Yeah. And then Cass just d does him. He thinks he's doing an imitation. Right. Of yeah, I was trying to copy it. Yeah. And can it you, was like you it, it was like you're going to Hollywood, babe. Like, yeah. Whoa. You guys, if I do it again, you it's gonna no completely wash out this sort of like. It's okay. no, I have it's this fine. mystique going. It's okay. You'll never. You're always that guy in my head. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Just please find it and give the people a taste, and we might have to mute oh. out. We might have to mute out the song. No, I don't dude. think so, right? I, this is see. This is why Do like it. I could never sing professionally because oh, under the God, pressure. God, I wish we were recording oh, it. God. It was so good. Is this so why? You, well, you're an actor. I mean, hello. No. Uh, no, Jennifer Love. We should talk about why we were looking at Jennifer Love Hewitt because people don't know this, but her and Rob had a relationship in the '90s. No, in the '90s. <laughs> 
This guy's crazy. <laughs> in Rob the like early two, early 2000s. Oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. We don't like to look at our phones during the podcast, but we're trying to find this thing. Yeah. We don't want to piss Jennifer Love Hewitt. anyone off. Okay, here look we go. Look for her. Yeah, Do you like my new like... case in the meantime? Isn't it chic? Yeah. Oh, look, I got I, the matching. I, well, I had to get rid of that one because that's going to get dirty. You'll see. I like, I want it. I like how leather patinas, but mm. I'm a leather worker. You're so. a leather worker. Okay. Okay. So this, the, the, this, she has this, a lot of quotes. This song. She has a lot of quotes. This is one of the most like unattractive Instagram pages, not as a person, just with the words. I didn't say it. I think she's beautiful. Just just give us what you got. On, give us what, just do it. I can't, dude. Just I oh, can't do come it. On, I can't man. do it. Pointing. I was distracted. You know and what? What's He's the... tense now. He was so relaxed. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I was so relaxed. I had just eaten. 10 pounds of, pounds of meat. Of steak. But you know what's funny? It's like Kasim's Mr. Do, like. Follow I'm, me on Instagram and I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it on Cameo. He's like, Mr. I, I put myself <laughs> out there. I'm not embarrassed about it. And then all Dude, of a sudden. Dude, I'm it's embarrassed like, about it. It's finally crunch time. I'm embarrassed about Please this. Just, I you can can't, feel your tension. Yeah. Okay. Just give us what. With Jamie, look Thank away. You. Hey, you know what? Th- it's not okay. Thanks, Jamie, Jamie. Jamie, look away. Okay. I don't think no. that's going to make a difference. Doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> We're turning all the cameras off. Wink, wink. Leave them on, Bryce. Just listen to it one time and just give us what you got. I was distracted. <laughs> no, that's not. That's as good you as Listen it gets. and then do it. Just one time for me. Really? Come on, just commit. <sighs> Come on, babe. Dude. I drive you here. That's the least you could do. I am. Uh... I'm gonna have to kiss a dude after this. I'm not looking. I was distracted and in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Bro, do it, Please, dude. just, we're I not I can't looking. get to that space. It's You're just going to, I, I was in a place. <laughs> but you were, you, he was I was in a so place, relaxed. I'm telling you. He can somebody like bring melted into my couch. Can somebody bring two toddlers and a T-bone into the room, <laughs> please? Dude. We need Jack. Let's pick him up. I tried. I just tried it, man. All right. Let I'll, that be enough for now. I'll you know? move on. Okay. Look, if well, I ever get the urge. it was phenomenal, and there's a amazing. hidden recording I know, and then if, if I do it. Bad, which is what will happen. Then you guys aren't gonna think I'm like a secretly a good. Singer. No, you already did it once. That's what I'm saying. Now that you did it once, you might as well go for it and really crush mm-hmm. it. Hey, mm-hmm. uh, look, I love Jennifer Love Hewitt, and um, she was a big part of my adolescent party of five. And uh, was she in the Scream movies or one of these? I know what you did. Oh, last I know what summer. you did last summer. Huge fan. Do not follow her Instagram unless you like to read. <laughs> you know what I mean. Instagram is a place for photos. Beautiful face Ooh. this woman had. This is not an Instagram for you, though. Why did you just say had? She had Instagram a beautiful face? That's what you said. Are you going to gaslight me and say you didn't say it? She has a beautiful face. <laughs> there we go. You know. So. Um, by the way, I'm and thinking. And she doesn't show it enough. It's just a lot of words. I try not to make Gabby do extra work, but I'm thinking about putting together a segment called Castlighting and take all the times yeah. you've gaslighted me sure. on the show yeah. and show it because, man, there's some good ones. Oh, Connor and I got in a ones. fight last night and I told him he was gaslighting me. He's like, what does that mean? Oh. Yeah. I was like, it means what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds like me and Kasim's car ride on the way here. I never gaslight you and you're crazy. You're crazy. I think something's wrong with you that you think. Don't you think something's wrong with him? We all, th- hey, dude, we all think something's wrong with you. So. Enter crickets, Gabby. <laughs> no, this is it. This is all. So here's, okay. Yeah, dude, normal people don't act this way. Like something's <laughs> up with you. So, uh, so okay. The, the song is. Uh, if the world was ending, you'd come over, right? So the this, this song is all There's about... There's something about traffic. Yeah. Well, he didn't hear it when the earthquake happened. That's what he says. But what it is is there's a thing... Uh, like, if the world was ending, you'd come over. And they say, like, listen, we were a couple. We know we weren't meant to be. We weren't made for each other. We decided to end it. But if you found out right now the world was ending, you would come over and we'd spend that last night together, right? So what I was thinking is how crazy is it where all the relationship, almost all the relationships I've had in my life were like, if the world was ending tomorrow and they were like, hey, I'm, I'm here. On the, it's like, yeah, come, come, like, you know, like come, you open the door. And I'm like, out of all the people I've ever met, there's maybe two people who would get that door shut on them. Even if the world was really? ending. Yeah. Even if the world was ending the oh, next sh- day, I, I would just, I'd be like, you know what? I'd rather die alone. You're Dude, saying to, to pork? You uh, to have sex with? Girls. 
girls. Is there one that is like you no, would no, for it's sure just, want more than the others? I, I'm not even saying, uh, oh, like who do I want the dream girl to show up at my? But that we know who one that's been in your past. <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah, you know, there's there's girls. There's a, a girl. Will Philly break your heart? There's a girl. No, 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 not break my heart. I was too, like, uh, into drugs and alcohol to get my heart broken. Like, it was like, mm-hmm. if any girl was ever like, I don't want to do this anymore, I'd be like, oh, see ya. Like, you know, I never, no, no, heartless. But. Uh, That's askpajamapants at gmail.com if you want to <laughs> send in your information to date Robert. The, um... Are there people who you guys would turn away at Hell the door? Yeah. yeah? One. A lo- oh, one. Yeah. Oh, I know who it is. Yeah, of course. And, like a girl that I've had sex with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I remember I remember trying to um one girl specifically that was like t- walking the line on stalker, like the stalker line, you know? And I After you dated already? No, it wasn't even a date. It was a just a one night affair. Oh Does wow! This count for your you laid it down, huh? Scenario? Uh, no, this doesn't really count because when when which is not liked, usually she liked my guys thing, that you guys. Dressed like women. I didn't. Tr- <laughs> you know what I was telling Rob is this show up Netflix uh, called Away. Um, I realized that Hillary called Swank, what? It's called Away, right? Yeah, yeah. Hillary Swank and I have the same body, the same musculature, <laughs> same arms. You would look good in a backless dress then. Because she rocks a backless dress. I would look good in a backless dress. Oh, I don't. She's got I, such I a great beg back. to differ. I think there. we bring a backless dress in and we do. I have a backless dress. I think you would look home. really good I'll in a backless it. dress, actually. <laughs> it's I think actually that's what I just said. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude. No, I'm telling you, me and Hillary Swank, she was in bed and she had like her arm up like this. I'm like, that's my arm. I have that arm. I have the body. I have. I try and work. You I go work to the gym, to and I've the point I've gotten to is Hillary Swank. She has a phenomenal body. She yeah. takes care of herself. She's a woman. So, what are you trying to say? <laughs> Don't woke reverse woke me, dude. <laughs> what do you mean reverse woke you? Like you, you're dude, you're you. Captain woke. Anyways, apparently. Oh my God! If you heard what this guy said at fucking dinner. What? Tell Woo! him, dude. Oh, you really want Cass? Yeah. <laughs> what do you let's say? Get, let's get the lie detector. Tell get, him. If Jamie, you got to learn how to work a lie detector. Okay. Because I That'd would be love. So I would. Here's the. Oh fucking, my god! I would be so good at working it. Here's what I. <laughs> here's what I would love. I would love for you to sit in the middle with a lie detector, yeah. and you hook me up, and you hook him up, and we have a conversation, and you just see his fucking thing darting all over the place, and mine is just fucking. Hey, dude. What you boom. see is what you see is what you get with me. I mean, this guy is just so, he's one way here, he's one way in the car. Yeah, right. See, you can't even do it right right now. Of course not. It's tough, right? Yeah. Why are you putting down a woman? (laughs) (laughs) Do I support women? I support every, you know what? I'm honored honored to have the body of Hillary Swank. (laughs) Yeah. So wait, are, are there girls who you've had- That's the title of this episode. Are there girls that you've had relationships with who, if they showed up at the door and it was like, hey, yeah, there's, the stalker an, girl. there's an asteroid coming tomorrow, which you'd already have a heart on. You don't even need a chick, right? Because yeah. just the asteroid coming. Yeah. But, but yeah, but I'm saying, uh, of, of course, Speed. who's going to be like, hey, stalker? Come on, like, come on. If a girl stalked you, I mean, like. I would a, let them all in. Let them I'd, all let, in. I'd let them all in, but there would be ones that I would want to come in, you know, more than bedroom. others. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, and, and maybe you're saying maybe some just hang in the living room. Yeah, you could, you could separate them oh, within okay. your home. Yeah, just have yeah, make you yourself comfortable here on the couch. I'm waiting on another ex-girlfriend that's not you to come in, and then we're yeah. going to go. How many exes do you here, have? Here, I started a playlist of my old YouTube videos. You guys could sit around and watch <laughs> while. <laughs> I probably have five. Five four serious or five. relationships. Yeah. Four. Four and a half. Do you know your, your sexy number? What's your that? sex number? Like your how many sexy people you've had? <laughs> oh no, I don't. But it's not a lot. It's like maybe. <laughs> well, I, I had a I had a year when I was drinking a lot that mm-hmm. you know I I like doubled it. I mean it might it might be close somewhere between fifteen and twenty. Not mm-hmm. a lot. Not a lot. Not compared to some other men I mm-hmm. know. Bryce. <laughs> you like you fuck the size machine. Of his hands. I mean, Bryce. Is when Bryce a fingers machine. a girl, that is technically having sex. Yeah, for sure. His fingers are eight inches long. He's breaking Soft. hymens. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, no, he he actually <laughs> wears his broken hymens on a belt. He, put, he made a belt out of them. Yeah. <laughs> and a necklace. Yeah. <laughs> He's got broken hymens that hang around. Oh, Every oh hymen you crushed. Gosh. Sheesh. What a beast this guy is. Unbelievable. Beast. Horse cock. Oh my so, God. yeah, no, there's, uh, there's girls. Uh, but it's just crazy to me how easy <laughs> how easy it gets. How easy it is to put myself in that situation where, like, if the world was ending in 24 hours, how easy it is to be like, yeah, I would just let everything go. Like, all the anger I of have course. for girls. That, but, you know, there's, there's some situations where it's like, <laughs> all, the uh, all the anger I have for girls I've dated, I'm saying, <laughs> okay. who have, like, done, okay. who have done yeah. shitty things. Or, sure. you know, there's been, there's been relationships where I've been the reason we broke up, and there's been girls, or not even mm-hmm. break up, but you know what I mean, stop talking. Yeah. Uh... And then there's been reasons where I was, there's been reasons where they were, and there's some girls where it's like, the anger I have for them is because they were so perfect. And I'm just like, you can't not, you can't not do that? Like, why do you have to... They were so perfect and you got upset that they were perfect? Like, we were, no, 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 like, we were, everything was great between us, and then it would be like, we'd get into an argument or something, and then it would Uh, be like, okay... (laughs) Jeez. Uh, you dog your filling I, over honestly, here? Honestly, I ate my food so fast. I'm are you about to puke? I thought you were going to tell me you ate mushrooms before you came in here for a second. I wish. There are so many dudes that would eat your vomit out of a bowl. <laughs> Probably 1,000 guys. Flies around it. They just don't care, James. That's so gross. Yeah, Sorry Jerry's one of them. Jerry. Jerry would eat your throw that up. That puzzle is terrible. Oh, it's so good. Uh, and by the way, they play the Entourage theme song over and over while they put together that thousand piece puzzle. And what it is for, we're going to put the picture up, but what it is, it's his face, small, and then it's blown up to where the skin around his face is giant. And yeah. then, so what Cutter said, because I showed Cutter that picture, oh, and he's like, he's like, all those pieces are all just going to look the same. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like they're just, oh my God. It's a, great. A, a 10,000 piece puzzle? 1,000. 1,000 piece thing? puzzle. 10, no, I, 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 was, I was asking, but Cutter said, yeah, it's 1,000 pieces of just skin. You know who we it's could gonna ask? Be a you know who's going to know? Bryce, are there such thing as 10,000 piece puzzles? There are. They, they know. Well, yeah, there are, for no, sure. No, but they're not selling them at Borders Books. What the fuck? Borders? George books? is like, aisle six. <laughs> Is it bo- are there borders anymore? Borders books, Jamie. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie could you believe Jerry? You're a fucking that? asshole, Jamie. Can you believe Jerry listened to this nonsense and still fucked it? I mean, unbelievable. What a fucking. This is why that Jerry guy Ferrara broke up with you. <laughs> Jerry, you're always Ferrara- trying to sneak out to a borders books. Jerry Ferrara left you standing at the altar. <laughs> Yeah, alone. Man. God, he snuck through that he window. He terminated the pregnancy <laughs> yeah. Aww, because of your see. borders books <laughs> obsession. Unbelievable. Like Jerry, where he's like, where There's do you want to go? There's such thing as borders books, right? There is. Okay. <laughs> but they went out of business in 2007. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jamie's stuck. You know how people get stuck where their trauma is. Yeah. That's when oh. Jerry broke up with her, oh. and she's just stuck. She's stuck standing outside of a borders book, crying oh, no. with a coffee in her hand. Yep. While Jerry's walking away, going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That was a great impression. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's Entourage. That's a theme song. That's the oh. show you were on. Uh, yeah. That Wait, was so, that was the theme song before you came on the show. So oh. and then after it was, yeah, yeah. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> So in the first scene that Jamie was on oh. in Entourage, didn't you give him a hand job? On a plane. On a plane. So mm-hmm. how do you go from that to like, he's like, hey, you want to grab dinner after this? Oh, Yeah, how no, soon did I, you date him after? No, so I was on the, um, I feel, by the way, this is like always hard to talk about because like you feel, like the other person's like a celebrity, or it's just another person. I don't want to feel like I'm like outing anything. No, oh, celebrities yeah. are more important. Sure, don't be, but do it, you but do it mean. now. Um, because he's married with a baby. He's like, like yes. I'm not in. Yeah, but he's like, podcast? Him. He's a great, he's a great guy. He doesn't have time to listen to this. We, no, we met, uh, we we had met prior just because, you know, we met all of them with at like HBO things yeah. all the time. Mm. <clears throat> and I was a fan of the show and But no, I was on the first season for like three episodes. We weren't dating. We became more friendly. And there was obviously a chemistry there amongst us that they felt they could keep bringing me back. 
Because I was only supposed to do a one-off. Mm. Supposed to be that one thing, I jerk him off the plane, throw the drink in his face, and it's done. And I think Doug was like, hey, we've actually never given Turtle a girlfriend. It could be kind of crazy to give him like a famous girlfriend and, and whatever. And I was like, I love the show. I would, I would love to. So we expanded it. And then he invited me back for the next season and then it, that's and then Jerry had become single and I was single and then it just kind of just happened well but that it was wasn't like a, it wasn't like a I did that scene and we're like this is this is what's this is did work. they ever ask you to be naked on the show no never did sopranos ever ask you to be naked on the show no no has anybody ever asked you to be naked on film or on Would a show? Would you consider being naked on this podcast? <laughs> For the our, next to get our episode, YouTube views up? The next episode is Kasim in a backless dress and Jamie just yeah. fucking naked. butt naked. Look, guys, we, if we get enough support, traction, if we can hit 50,000 subscribers. You'll get in a backless dress? Oh, I'll get into a backless dress for like 20, for 30,000. Well, we're yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna yeah. hit it. I mean, that just gives well, me some time. You know, time. one to what well, I went to Spain when I turned thirty. I booked a trip with one of my best friends. Yeah, this and is gonna be good. I was like, I'm gonna be European and be the topless, and I did it, and I committed, and I was fucking topless every day on the beach, and it felt so weird. Really, I, but I committed. I was like, I'm not gonna put my even my friend had her bathing suit on. She's like, Jamie. Put it on. Were you with girls and guys on the trip no, or just a girl? just us. Were did, there did you, did you talk to any guys like on the on the beach like, hey, and your just tits are out? No. Or do you, do you save that for Emmy red carpets? <laughs> <laughs> That's just for the Emmys. Yeah. Uh, no. I didn't talk to anybody. I mean, they spoke a different language. For any new listeners, Jamie's boob popped out on an Emmy red carpet while we were staying next to each other and paparazzi had a field day. Mm-hmm. And my dad's in one of the photos with me too. With my nipple yeah. Out. Which is cool. Well, he knows what your boobs look like. No, he doesn't. Well, as a kid, I'm Very sure. He, I'm sure he pictures it all the time of what they what they went on to look like. Ugh. Oh God, this podcast is right. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, that, that I do. <laughs> yeah, I I had to draw the line last. Did I do it last year? Where Bo had to was not allowed to shower with with me anymore. Wait, Bo was showering with you up until last year. He was like year? five until he was like five. Man. Yeah, wow. Because I was like, now you're going to start like really remembering shit. And now's, now's when we... There are guys out there who would be a five-year-old kid to shower with you. Yeah. <laughs> there are so many five-year-old boys that would love to shower with you. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I lo- you know what's so funny is like I think about that show and I... It was like awesome. And it was when such it was a on, show. Oh. I was going to say... I Hold on. Let me ever- finish. Oh. But now, I don't feel that way about it. Well, television's evolved. Things television evolved. has really evolved. But at the time, I remember really being you know, into but it. But Entourage gave you just like this inside view of like what you dream Hollywood is, but like the people that you root for and, you know, these great characters. And I don't think they ever would have asked me, A, because I was Jerry's girlfriend, but B, like, I think... Even Doug, the creator, I think they all looked at me like a little sister. So no one's ever asked like, you to be naked on anything? I did a, a movie once where, like, prior to doing it, I had, um, like, a no nudity clause. Like, you could do, like, side boob, and then if you're showing ass or whatever, it's somebody Stunt. else. And I had to I had to pick who the body was. Oh, nice. It's very cr- weird. So you, that's where you should have called me. Of these women that just will walk in and literally stand Hell yeah. side Bat and they're butt naked. I got some of those tapes in my. So wait, so there's a there's a movie out there that isn't we. Th- the Heidi Fleiss movie for sure is oh. not me. Any movie you see that's a booby or a butt oh, or man. anything is not. So me. how much would somebody? I I don't know. Did did pregnancy and that did it mess your boobs up to where you were happy with your boobs before? No, my boobs are better. Wow. So okay. So how much if if uh say a. Little known podcast. No, if if a movie or something came to you and was like, "We want you topless," and it really worked with the scene. Yeah, you know, I go back and forth about it all the time because it's like that thing where you're like, as long as it's not gratuitous, but like it is what it is. Like your tits are on the screen; they're there forever, and but they're also just boobs. So I go back and forth of it. Like I'll I'll be yeah I'll think about my kids and like I don't want their friends showing them that one day. But then I'm also like, who gives a fuck? So yeah, I don't as know. they're in the shower with you, you're thinking about that, <laughs> right? When I'm you know yeah. showering the baseball are... team. But wait, I want to get a price. Yeah, 
I don't think it's a price. I think it's more a situation. So if they came to you now and they were like, we have this great script, $250,000 for you to show those boobs. I don't, people aren't offering me money just for my boobs. It'd be like, me do and, you like no, this me and script? Kassam and talked this about it. Guys. Me and, and Kassam then, talked about it. We started a Patreon. There are people. It's a GoFundMe, actually. There you are started people. A, a thing to see how much it would cost if you yeah, show we're at ninety eight thousand dollars. Make a wish. You're at ninety thousand. We have ninety eight thousand dollars right now to show your boobs. So what we're if, wondering just what we have to get to. With, oh, so if it's not associated with a role, yeah, whatever. Do like twenty jumping jacks. Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, like two hundred fifty thousand dollars, three hundred thousand dollars, three hundred thousand. Look at Jamie, uh, Miss two hundred fifty k titty over here. <laughs> yeah, okay, man, I'd show Imagine a nut for it. twenty bucks. I don't subscribe to the boobs or just boobs thing. You know, I I think they're special. I don't, you know, like a, a, an apple's an apple, but I I don't go and like sort, go online and sort apples by like <laughs> colors and fucking jerk off to apples four, four or five times a day. I mean, boobs are, they are, they feel great. They provide life. They store milk. They don't provide life. They provide don't food. Don't, don't make don't make fun of ap a apple sexualists. <laughs> there, there there's are, some guys out there that people. hollow out apples, put them in the microwave for 15 oh seconds, gosh. and then you know go to town on them. The famous scene in American Pie. No, I had a friend who tried to fuck an apple once. He said it was the pits. Okay. Cass, where are you going? Cass? Cass? Oh, we'll be right back. We'll be right back with this word from someone. It's still mask time. We still have to wear the masks. And thank God for Braddock USA because our friends over at Braddock USA have created the most comfortable, wearable, washable, breathable, affordable face masks and face covers on the market. They're made here in LA, safe. They've got you covered. And so do we. They're eco friendly. Offer the protection. Look how good it looks. So now when you go check out their website at braddockusa.com, you will see that they already have great prices. But for a limited time, they're offering an additional 20% off with promo code PJPants. Again, that's 20% off your entire order with promo code PJPants at braddockusa.com. B-R-A-D-D-O-C-K-U-S-A.com with promo code PJPants. Look, you can wear this one to your Thanksgiving dinner. How yes. cute. Perfect That's for fall. Up. Jamie's gonna be topless at Thanksgiving. Just that. Just a mask and topless. Yeah, I. Uh, you know what's so NFL started two weeks ago, and I'm watching all these games, and I'm watching these people with their fucking masks on, and they're like, every time they talk, it moves, and then, and I'm like, well, how have people? How is this six months in, and people who have to wear a mask for hours a day haven't gotten just a mask that works? Like, don't you see people yeah. with masks you don't have to tug on every time they're you speak? They're very uncomfortable. Not these. These are these. Uh, I'm telling you, Brad these are the USA ones. Brad USA needs to send the NFL some here. Yeah, those. These big the ones face are really good for that because um, they like cover your whole yes. face like this. You know, and and it's not in your ears, or you can. Pull it's it not down in your ears. Yeah, and they're tie dye, which is very cool. And plus, you guys get to find a way to support the sponsors that support your favorite podcast. Okay. All right? And now, I, I just before just going back to that naked thing, you would never do like what. Chloe Sevigny did in Buffalo 66, right? I don't know what she did in she Buffalo 66. She gave a blowjob like in the a movie. real Because it was like yeah. real in the scene. No, and I don't this. even do that in real life. What if, oh, that's true. Yeah, but in real life, Cutter's not throwing you 20 mil. What she if, didn't get 20 mil. Well, I'm saying, that. what is there a number? No. No? I'm not doing, Jamie, I'm it's not doing art. a project like that. First of all, no. Everybody, wanted, everybody wants to see moms. What if Everyone Scorsese wants to see asked me? you to do it? No. What if Scorsese? Scorsese is not asking me to do that. Okay. Because then he's not Scorsese. He's Scorsese. Speaking of the Sorry. world ending song that we were talking about, I thought there was an earthquake the other night because I was shaking my foot in bed. Has that ever happened to you? Like I was. I uh, know, but Cutter shakes his leg like that. So sometimes I'll be like, well, I'll yeah. look at the lights first before that's I'm exactly... the idiot that's like, no, Jamie, it's my leg. I'm like, yep. I'm just making sure. I was laying in bed. I'm watching like away, you know. I'm just laying there shaking. But I think I got, I must have stopped. And then all of a sudden, like I started shaking again. And I was like, Oh, we're we're having one, <laughs> you know. I'm like, Oh, here we go. What's is this going to be like a two, a six, a seven? Yeah. Like you know, we're waiting for it. And I'm like, Oh, that was my foot. A six or a seven? Oh, hey, a seven, seven. How is the show seven. away? You both keep mentioning it. How is the show away? <laughs> Thanks, Gabby. <laughs> I'm only a few episodes in. Um, it's pretty. It's okay. It's like kind of dramatic. It's like very, uh, it hammers those like 
those emotional moments, it yeah. really like rings it out. You know, there's not a lot of subtlety in those moments. Mm. And Hilary Swank's got a great body and she looks good and she's very muscular mm. and almost has a very um, a manly physique, I'd mm. say. I thought the show was just okay. Like the first episode, I was like, eh. And then um, they had, the, when they do that first scene in space, like where, the real scene where they do like this, they have to go out and fix something on the, uh, what are those things called? Shuttle? Spaceships? Shuttle? Yeah, on Space the spaceship. Shuttle? And uh, when they go out there, like stuff happens. And I, and I, like literally my butthole puckered up and my hand started sweating. And I was like, oh, I'm, yep. I'm in. I could feel it tighten around my finger. Your butthole <laughs> puckered up. Yeah, yeah. Because I was so, I was like singing cats, you know. I was so <sighs> relaxed in bed just like watching the show alone as always. Lights off. Watching alone. Yeah. I mean, away. And and, uh, and all of a sudden, like something, you know, in space when something goes wrong, I was like, oh, and like yeah, my butthole yeah. puckered up. And then like I sat up a little and I looked at my hands were just Whoa. sweating. I was like, wow, this th they in, really huh? had me. Yeah. yeah. What's it like to watch things? I can't. I just I don't, I don't know how you I mean, we've we've said this before, but you you have a day. You have a real what we call a day. You get up early. You're just chasing kids around. Mm -hmm. When we came over, me and Rob on Sunday, it was uh, you were gone. Jack yeah. was asleep. Bo was in his room playing Xbox or Roblox, and it would there was no activity really except us three or us four uh, watching TV, and it was like the quietest your house has ever been mm -hmm. since I've been there. Yeah, and it was it was like oh okay, and then when everyone woke up and Jack was back and you came back and Bo was there, I was like oh there's that energy. There it is. But like I can see being only privy to it like once a once a week that Dude, it could get very when tiring both of them are back in school if i'm not working i'm gonna tell you i'm not gonna get out of bed i'm literally gonna like send them off with my coffee and like a joint and just like literally watch television until 2 29 until i have to go get one of them yeah me and I you smoked weed on sunday wait. me and yeah, you smoked together we did. Yeah. it's been uh it's been a minute but we so just so people know out there because we haven't talked mm -hmm. about it just because we've been talking about other shit, but like the last ten Sundays, we've only missed one, I think, right? Or something yeah. like that. Our oh, our, yeah. our track record for it's become a thing. Well, that's because when it was like 157 degrees in the valley, we just like had to get out. Yeah. Well, it was also uh, Labor, Labor Day, Day, right? Yeah. yeah. So you were like, oh, we're gonna you were like come over Monday, and then Casim was like, I'm too cool for that. Yeah, yeah, plans. Well, mm -hmm. some of us, you know, some of us have things to do on Mondays. Oh, but it's a full. They like expect us. I feel like Jack and because mm -hmm. we they do. We used to get the like surprise. Someone is there, and now they're like, "Hey, you know, you get that yeah. smack in the chest." Yeah, from Jack. Yeah, <laughs> very oh, proud of so the boys. Great. Jack got a this haircut. Last week. Jack got a haircut. Yeah, I was against it at first, and uh, it's grown you on. You were. Me. You were a little upset about it. Yeah, he looks. I'm still against it. You are. I do love his long hair, but he's got yeah. new shapes. He's got a new thing of shapes that he's very good at, <laughs> and um, Bo is now turning the corner on his. Um, superhero artist career yes yes uh you know what a good gift what a good it gift was a great was. gift just i mean really i really nailed it but uh well you know what he said because he he drew Casim told him i want you to draw a superhero but i also want you to have his origin story mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he's like okay so he went and he came back with uh, a thing and then after he told him the whole origin story and everything he goes now i want you to go make his nemesis mm -hmm. So he went in the room and he drew this guy. It was like Mr. Mean. Do you the remember his eviler. name? The Eviler. The Eviler, yeah. Yeah, the and Eviler. Great name. And he yeah, it was great, great yeah. And and the origin story he made for the first guy was great too. But he draws the Eviler and I'm looking at, because he did a you know 20 drawings before that and then one while we were there and then this was the second one. And I'm looking at that compared to all the other ones and I'm like, how come in this guy you could see his nipples and his <sighs> belly button but you can't see them in all the other ones? So I, I say to him, because Kasim is having a very serious sit down with yeah, him I about it. this stuff. So I say to him seriously, I go, how come with the Eviler, you could see his nipples and his belly button? And he looked at me so serious. He goes, because he's really bad. <laughs> and I was like, what? See, he, that's why I don't show my boobs. Yeah, right. Oh, man. And, and he's like, and he was so serious when yeah. he said it. But he's, yeah, Kasim came came through with a great gift. Yeah, we're going to, you know, we've just got to the point where we're developing each character and then we're going to start putting them together on mm -hmm. panels and hopefully create a story. Yeah, he's got the legend. The legend, Mr. Laser, Senor Laser, Mr. Laser. Uh, no, he's the like, Eviler. he's a, how's, Sir Blue. Sir Blue. Yeah. Great names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because he no said. No one steal these. 
Kasim said, said to him. Kasim said to him, "What's his origin story about uh, the laser guy?" And he goes, "Oh yeah. Uh, well, he's he's really strong." And Kasim was like, "No, remember we talked about what's what's an origin story? What's Spider Man's origin story?" And he's like, "Oh, he got bit by a spider." So Kasim's like, "Right, there has to be a story of how he became." Uh, Mr. Laser. Mr. Laser. And out of nowhere, he just turns around and he's like, okay, well, he used to be a spy. And one day he was going on one of his operations and there were lasers all around to get to the thing he had to get to. And when he went to sneak on the, the laser, the laser hit him and he turned into Mr. Laser. And me and Kasim were both like, holy shit. <laughs> we're like, that's, that's pretty good, dude. Yeah, I looked I looked right at him. I said, holy fucking shit, Bo. Fuck yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Great He's work. Like, you're, the, you're, the, yeah. you're the fucking coolest six-year-old Dude, I fucking fuck, know. man. So fucking Seven. smart. Come Seven. here. Let me see that PP. Oh. I didn't say that. <sighs> who would say that to a kid? I didn't say it. Hey, you're, hey your mommy won't shower with you anymore, but you know who will? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Cass. <laughs> I'm going to get comments about that one. Why does, he, why does he keep saying Why is he being so... We got to get him off, dude. Go okay, there. keep your kids away from Cass. We haven't talked. You did Tiger Belly. You want to talk about yeah. your experience on oh, yeah, Tiger, I did Belly? Tiger Belly? Oh, yeah, Tiger Belly. Shout out to Slep, Slep Kingdom. So shout, him, shout him to Slep Kingdom. You know, really fun guys there. Uh, Bobby Lee and Kalila. I got to go go do it. You know, it's been, it's been a while. I had Bobby on my old podcast, which was going to be Resurrected, what? which I'm going to have on my, on my YouTube channel coming up. I had an old podcast I did in 2017, and he was there, and um, that was the last time I saw him, three years ago. Always great, very funny, uh, completely gross in a in a sort of lovable way. And my friend did a TV show with him and loved him. Oh, he's he's the funniest. He doesn't have to even say anything, <laughs> right? You know, right. he just is. He looks funny, and then he's he's even funnier somehow when he yeah. speaks. Really, really sweet guy. He said he was going to come on Pajama Pants. Um, but he said he's waiting for you to do the Topless episode. And that maybe he'll come and do. Right. He's going to come and do that well, one. Well, I, I watched it and you were talking about AA. And I was like, well, that's interesting. Because when I brought up AA on our podcast, Kasim made me feel terrible about it. Uh, but there it's well, just no, open. I, did. I was talking about an anonymous. I was talking about an anonymous program. That I was in, AA, and anonymous. I, that's what I was. That's what AA stands was, for. I'm, I'm saying I'm AA. Not, I'm not. I'm not affiliated. I'm, I'm saying not affiliating myself and with anonymous. AA. But what you were saying is when you go to meetings and you were saying the locations of the meetings and sitting around and what you guys would say. He was doing that, not me. I was right. very no, specific. No, you you did. You said I had to go to this meeting and you said where it was. But I didn't say it was an AA meeting. Oh come! Uh, I have to be. Hey, I have. I have to, yeah, you have to though when you talk about this stuff because technically you're breaking traditions. If you were to say I'm a part of Alcoholics Anonymous, which I I never said I was. I'm just part of a program. I'm part of an anonymous program. But an anonymous. No, it and stands for Alcohol Anonymous. No, Jamie. God, just, <laughs> when we need boobs, we'll pro- come to you. Okay. It's yeah. You're just anonymous. a pair of tits to us. <laughs> it's an anonymous. What's an anonymous? AA. That's what I was talking about. I'm not talking about Alcoholics Isn't Anonymous. It? You brought up Alcoholics Anonymous no. once again. Well, no, no, no. no. A- AA stands <laughs> for. Face. She's so good. I'm so confused. What? Well, are you having fun with me right now? Because, yeah, babe. Uh, because I don't know if you really think it stands for an anonymous. It's called me improv. Oh, I see. Huh? Yet. Yes, and. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, and. No, but. Um, look, that's the thing with Bobby that, you know, he gets a lot of messages and, like, people in AA hate when, from what I understand, they hate when people speak that they're, uh, you know, in the program. Why? Um, because it's not. And I, I, I mentioned this on Bobby's, but it's like. Say somebody becomes affiliated with the program, mm-hmm. like Bobby Lee, right? Who was sober for 15, 20 years or whatever it is, and then Bobby goes out. All of a sudden, everyone that associates Bobby Lee with that program goes, oh, well, the program doesn't work. Look, Bob, right. they don't they don't take into a consideration that Bobby never went to meetings, his, like, his spiritual life wasn't like good. He- uh, This is, a, you're, you're really trying to get him on the pod super, right now. Super dry. No, he saw stuff he said. <laughs> I'm kidding. And um, you know, there's a bunch of reasons. So you never wanna, AA is, is exactly in that way supposed to just be 
an organization that is faceless, nameless, has a, a set of traditions and mm-hmm. a set of steps that you do. It does not affiliate with, it doesn't do uh, radio, you know, it doesn't do podcast. It's not supposed to have any sort of identity to it Mm -hmm. for the fact that it just needs to be a place where people can go and feel safe and not worry about being outed and and all these things. So when somebody talks about it, it's always like, well, you know, there's a specific tradition that talks about uh, remaining anonymous at the level of press, radio, and film, Mm -hmm. from what I understand. And um, so, yeah, it, it's not great. I, I try and do my best to like skirt around it, still talk about being sober, and there's ways to talk about being sober without having to affiliate with a program. I because, get that, because you don't want somebody within the program to say that they saw this celebrity there and talk about it totally. either. Totally, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> what I say versa. is like just my own opinion and experience. Sure. People will confuse that with, oh, well, that must be what AA teaches right, these people, and right. that is not correct. Right. So I always, and I've tried to be very careful about this, always talk about it in terms of I'm just in a program, uh-huh. you know, and so uh, you'll never hear me, like, talk about the the step. I mean, you know, all that stuff is is there. I am just a sober member of a program. That's all That's all I want to talk Congrats about. Congrats on that. But, but, but Bobby likes to talk about his affiliation with it and it's fine like i don't give a shit about that kind of stuff but there are people in the program that do and they always write him and they tell him like hey so quit you know quit doing that and you know mark Marin, i've heard talk about it you know there's there's lots of people that do it regardless um yeah, but i'm sure the people that are talking about it are talking about it because of how it's helped them and i only can see that being a positive endorsement i don't think totally. anybody's running around being like this fucking scam. yeah you can make that argument and then you know but you never know if somebody's going to go out of the program right you never know if like hey maybe mark Marin relapses people have choices people have choices and there's a million reasons why they right. relapse so that was serious. So yeah, I did. Uh, I did Tiger Belly. Enjoy it. It's out now on the YouTube. It was nice. Um, there's a me and Bobby have known each other for years and years, and he's always been super sweet. And uh, and you talked about. And I met Gabby's brother, Gilbert. A lot of you don't know our very own Gabby. And we, t- dude, and we fucking roasted George. Big you want time. you want to come sit here, Gabby? Yeah, yeah come listen, on, your host today. If you guys listen to Tiger sh- Belly and you stuff. know mm-hmm. Gilbert's soothing voice. And you see him on the pod. This is Gabby. This is Gabby. Yes. Gabby. What's Very going on? Cool. Gabby. Very nice I producer, just got her phone editor. number last night, finally. Oh, we're on a group oh. chat, finally. But she doesn't have an iPhone. Yeah. What does that say about someone? I don't understand. What it's does just it like, matter? Just I always think that you're a, like, be a, a be hacker a, or something. Be a sheep. <laughs> be a sheep. No, never. I'm Honestly, sorry. if I still could, I would... 100% still have a Blackberry. I was literally one of the last people to get I an iPhone. I love the Blackberry. I love well, because the keys were beveled. I was literally one of the first people to get an iPhone. I waited in line for it. Well, of course you did. Seven hours. Not shocked. <laughs> See, we brought Gabby here to watch us talk closer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I wanted to be right here instead of behind my tree. So oh, your, bro- your brother <laughs> produces uh, Tiger Belly. When did yes. you move here? Tell tell the people. Oh my God, know. why? Why is this they becoming about me? Because we want to know, Gab. <laughs> people are going to, if you oh, want to date Gabby, yeah. Askpajamapants at gmail.com. <laughs> we don't know her relationship status. That's none oh of our God. business. Are you single? It's a good thing I edit this show. So. <laughs> Are you going to edit this part out? And cut. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> look, we really appreciate everything you do. And we had a lot of nice things to say about you on Tiger Belly and a lot of bad things to say about George. <laughs> and we had a, a lot of good stuff to say about you too, Bruce. Uh, but don't come on the podcast. The don't about stay about over there. there. <laughs> <laughs> won't be able to fit your hands in frame. So tell so do you like your brother uh yeah. when you're working do you have four different drinks elixirs and drink them out of Tupperwares <laughs> or is that just his You notice thing? that all his out of Tupperwares what do you mean out of My tup- brother he likes this bit where he drinks water out of a big pan or a big cup or a giant and every, it'll be different every time and people will point it out and be like why do you What's up with that? Yeah. <laughs> but <It's> no. Just... <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. I, I love a good so bit. Weird. I love a long he's running good bit. He was drinking one that was like this deep and like this <laughs> wide. And he's sitting there while people are talking. And he's drinking out of it. I'm like, this is fucking great. And I don't I don't I don't sit around with groups of people and talk about Tiger Belly, but I don't yeah. know people noticing that. Yeah. Some yeah. people notice it. It's people. great. I got there early and it's uh Bobby just playing Warzone or Tony Hawk and Warzone and then like Gilbert and George are putting stuff up. It's just like 
Uh, and then uh, I guess your brother plays Warzone yes. too, and he asked for my Activision ID, so I guess you could because say things know. are yeah, things are getting <laughs> going pretty pretty good. You know, I'm surprised that he didn't tell you the story. I mean, yeah. in high school he was a fan of Casims. Really? <laughs> yes. That's what I hear. We all were. We all were. <laughs> and on going deep, I guess you showcase tweets that people send you. Yeah. And there was one he sent you about his areolas being the size of sand dollars. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you had posted it and it was the most exciting thing he oh, had. Oh, happened. you know what? I think I remember that too. Do you? Yeah, That's when yeah. he knew he could kick down the door to show business. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I'm glad I was I'm glad I I made a nice impression cuz there's probably a lot of people that hate my guts, you know, and I'm glad Gilbert's on the other He's side. He's still a fan. <laughs> you know, he was so nice. Um and I don't know what it is, but I I was just your whole family seems you're so lovely, he's so lovely. I my know parents. your parents. You seem to <laughs> yeah. be the coolest people on earth. So we're just thankful to know you and have you part of the show. Thanks, thanks, guys. So do you work? <laughs> tell us what working with George and Bryce is like. Oh God, with my boss right over there. Yeah, no, he can't hear, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, Bryce just got called a boss. You and George owe me your lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I know See, you. I know you appreciate. I disagree. I think Bryce would have made it without you. But Agreed. George, we won't ever know the answer to that. Because George never <laughs> comes anymore, so we'll never know. No, he doesn't he's care like on about vacation us. somewhere. Yeah, married. Yeah. Wow, well, let's talk about the future. <laughs> you yeah. guys can guess guess how George and Bryce are as bosses. How would you imagine them to be? I think uh, Bryce would be Very great. Fair. I think George would be a little like anal about weird stuff. Maybe mm -hmm. um, is, that, is that on, is that on that points? That up. That's very accurate. Yeah. Oh, that up. see, when you play poker, you got to know how to read them. Yeah. You know. I back that up. I guess. But have have they ever yelled at you? No. I think. I mean, George Casim's impression is very accurate, and I think. Yeah. <laughs> got me a word. A it's often a lot of that. Um, yeah. But no, no, they're very kind to me. Very nice. Yeah. Are you sure? Is there I'm anything? Very sure. Blink twice if you need us this, to save. This you. could yeah. be bad for her. <laughs> And you never yell? No. Really? But I is he being that. like passive aggressive when he's yelling at himself? <laughs> Bryce is Bryce is very mellow. George George, I think, just has a lot of energy. And yeah, just, yeah. yeah. No. That chaps my eye, himself, Gabby. Right? Towards himself, but okay. then the rest of us are here. You're, yes. <laughs> I want to be the good looking cousin. <laughs> God damn it. Well, look. Was it a good day for him, you think, when Jamie decided to marry him in the F Marry Kill? Oh, best day of his life. Oh, God. I don't know? actually think that was the last <laughs> time we saw him. Has your answer changed since then? Yeah, of yeah. Course. The answer well, has. Do this again, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm so... I don't know why I asked that. I'm yeah, so COVID made life real. <laughs> <laughs> she had to really think about What's it. What's up, Jamie? <laughs> What's the answer? Well, look at that well, stunt next to you, Jamie. Definitely not fucking Cassum. So that's the thing. Yeah, I, I, I bet he's heard that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have. Oh man, it's it's fucking eleventh grade all you over again. You want this Hillary Swanks? Oh Whoa! God. You don't want Hillary Skank? Wow, you Hillary want these Hillary, Hillary Stanks. Swank arms? That's fine, Jamie. Fucking bitch. <laughs> so how how long have you been in LA? Since last July. So over a year now. Oh, so just the worst part in LA's history. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. No, no, I no, know. It feels weird because my experience here has gotten truncated into. into Adjusting, meeting people, and then all of a sudden, yeah. Sorry, that's you can't enjoy that's it. Rough. So who did you who did you uh, quarantine with when COVID started? My roommates. So I had four roommates, and then one of them went off to live in her parents' house. She disappeared. One of them is very anxious about Corona, so I haven't seen her since. But like she literally lives room? next to me. Yes. And you haven't seen her since? No. Wait, she doesn't come out of her room? No. Well, we also coordinate times in our house. Like I'm gonna be leaving, or I'm gonna be in the kitchen. So. You have not seen no, her? No, I haven't seen that's her. That's crazy. In your that's the like same a TV house, show. that's very know. weird. She's very anxious. Does she know oh, something? Does she share a bathroom? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Should we? Uh... <laughs> no, and she's, I mean, she's a germaphobe too. But, yeah, so this I mean, just very, went our center. Very extreme. Yeah. Yes. Oh, God, I feel so bad for people like that. So I've been pretty much just, you know. Living alone. Yeah. <laughs> Did you Basically. know those people before you moved here? Yeah, one of them, well, one of my roommates is Gilbert's girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, hell okay. yeah. So who convinced you to move My to man LA? My Gilbert. <laughs> it was a combination of a lot of things. I wanted to move. I transitioned from medicine, and I was moving into a creative field. So then <sighs> LA seemed like the place to come. What's your ideal creative job besides pajama, editing pajama <laughs> pants? I still want to edit. So doing this is very helpful, but eventually into other 
narrative projects would be fun. Yeah. yeah. I think, I mean, editors are really like such a huge part of the storytelling. You could change yeah. it completely. Mm-hmm. You can, true. you can, you can save a project. Yep. You can make a project. Yep. Yeah, I mean, every, I think it's I've a really cool job. Said this before on here, but when Gabby came in, it changed shit. Oh yeah, God. really. Look at the snaps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, alone, not, but I mean, the, the quality no, of the John He has Thanks, said guys. that multiple times yeah. behind yeah. your back. Show got. <laughs> Yeah, I, t- I talk nice about people behind their back. I do Great, it the opposite perfect. way you're supposed to. <laughs> yeah. I talk no, horrible I about like people to their d- face. And no, then... but I'm saying that meaning like if you know he's saying that behind your back, that's the truth. Yeah. Like I'm like, she's our, she's our savior. Thank you. Yep. That's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Very important. Well, this is the poor person, the woman that I look at often. If you see me being like, <laughs> right when Jay, when we try and get Jamie to do something disgusting and I she's not sure if she should do it or not, she's like, her. And, and Gabby's always like, "Don't do it. Your career will be trash." Also, I'm always surrounded by men. Like, I have two boys. My dog's a boy. My husband. So even then, in here, it's a lot of male stuff. So finally, just having a woman. <laughs> no, I just, relate to you a lot, like, Jamie. Even though he's very ha- yes. Hillary Swanky, still. Yeah. <laughs> You, what know. you, about? you do a podcast with Hillary Swank. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, oh, Tim the Tool Man God. Taylor? Arr, arr. Holy cow. You, are it's you an odd thing being this close while you guys are recording. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know, I feel like I not, should. Uh, not oh, so Bryce easy. Bryce is kicking her off. <laughs> Whoa. You know, I, down with the patriarchy, you, you son of a bitch. You Bryce is like, the fuck Wow. Out. See how yeah. men are? She's the one that gets us Bye, our Gabby. emails. Not fucking white men. It's That's who it's, that, it's white Men. Oh God. Uh, oh, man. Look, how much time do we have? Time for emails? Yep. Okay. Is there someone in there named Neil? Neil's complaining that we don't read his email. Neil? Yeah. Is that in there? Okay. Well, give me one moment, please. Yeah, I don't see it. Sorry, Neil. Sorry. Hey, Neil. <laughs> Neil, you're <laughs> just, shit out of luck, Neil. Just click on follow, bud. It was nice having you. You were great. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. You Bye. know. Now we just brought her here, so you know who to blame. It's um, Gabby. It's not us. All right. This one's uh, looks like it's a, a question for Jamie. Oh. This one's from Daniela G. Hey, my sister. Uh, hey, yeah. Jeans. Huge fan of each of you. I found the podcast after Jamie and Rob's iconic YMH episode, which was literal days after I finished. I didn't misread that. It was literal days after I finished The Sopranos. I had grown up watching Kasim's video, so I think you're all phenomenal, and I adore listening, watching. My initial question is for Jamie. I recently saw an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race <laughs> with you as a guest judge. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? For mm-hmm. real? Yeah. I've never heard you talk about the show on the podcast, but what was that, what was that experience like, and are you still a fan? In general, what have similar TV guest appearances been like for each of you? I loved hearing about the award show experience with Christina. Thanks, y'all. D. Um, yes, I got to be a guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. To be very honest, I was not um like a huge fan like so many people. Meaning I just I just I just hadn't watched it that much. Um I know people that are madly in love with that show. Um, so with all of that said, I really didn't know what I was getting into. As you can imagine, it you feel like you're almost in a dream because people are like eight feet tall when they have their high heels on, like wigs that make them another foot taller, and they're kicking to the sky and doing splits and mm-hmm. gorgeous makeup, and you're watching them through a two-way mirror get ready. Everyone looks like Marge Simpson. Like when I it first like. got, yeah, yeah. When I first got there, there was literally a two-way mirror, and I was watching all of them get ready in the dressing room for the performance. That's illegal. Was, no, I mean, they weren't naked, Cassim but like knows. to get transforming themselves. It yeah. was really cool to watch. And then, yeah, I, I mean, as you could s- probably, if you remember my uh, appearance, I, I my literally was like this the whole time because that's how I felt. I was just in awe. I was completely in awe. And it's RuPaul couldn't have been nicer, just the kindest, coolest ever. What kind um, of name is that? RuPaul. RuPaul. Well, that's the drag name. Yeah. But isn't it just putting two letters in front of Paul? I don't know. Wouldn't you want to be like I'm saying? If you What's were, the origin story, RuPaul? If you yeah. yeah, we'll have we'll have Bo make up an origin story for RuPaul. How did RuPaul? <laughs> yeah, it'll get be his the powers? day I wear my backless dress. That's yeah, a, that's that'd be a good one. Ruke. Ask, Bo, ask Bo to give Ruke, the origin the stories of all these drag queens. If you if you wear a backless dress, are we gonna drive here and you're gonna be wearing it, or would you put it on here? Oh, I'd put it on here. Oh damn! Oh, fucking leather seat. Yeah, I was gonna so say great. he's not letting that ruin. We get pulled over, I'd be like, I I swear. It's exactly what it looks like, officer. Um, cool. <laughs> Wait, I have to check with Gabby. 
Uh, do I, is that part we have to cut that out? What I just said? Yeah, we'll keep it in. No. By the way, Jamie, there was a moment with Jack that I had that I wish you were there for because, like, you know, Jack. Jack's the best. He's amazing. But sometimes when he wants something, he'll just keep repeating it until you do oh. it. Yeah. So, and you don't notice it. Yes, but, I do. I, oh, no, she you, noticed. You, you say sometimes you're like, the repetition is so much in my house. Like, I don't know that same song has been on for three hours. Right. But yeah. when he oh, yeah. says something over it. The God's like, He's Because I, I took him on the swing and I played with him on the swing at, for a long time oh, one the weekend. Host. And then the next weekend after that, I'm, I'm laying on the on the one of the chairs by the pool. And he's like, I want to do a swing. And last time I was like, okay. And this time I was like, no, like, I, I don't want to do a swing. I was like, I'm hanging out. Like, I don't want to do. And he's like, I want to swing. And like, he got close to me. So after he said it the fifth time, I turned to him. I go, yeah, well, Jack, I want a million dollars. And he went, <laughs> and he just stopped and looked at me. And he was like, I'm going to go ask daddy. And he just like, walked away from me. And I was like, oh, shit, that just worked. Like, it did. he felt, he felt, I was like, he, I stumped him, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. he was, he'll repeat it until oh you're blue God. in the face. He, but now he does this thing because what he'll say, I want, I want, I want. And so I'll look at him sometimes and be like, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. I was like, Jack, please stop. That's not nice. Please stop. We no. had such a good laugh so in the kitchen. You me and, and Jack? Him. Oh, my about God. About what? We, he made a face about something and I was like, what's that face? And he thought that was like oh. the funniest thing he ever heard. And there are we, certain one-liners that we'll just get. Yeah, him. and me and him were like belly laughing oh. while I was holding him for a long time. That's and then so when he sweet. would stop laughing, like I would laugh or he would start and I would start. Mm -hmm. It was it was long. Oh, He's funny, man. Yeah, he is. But now he'll look at me and go, I win it, I win it, I win it, I win it. Like he knows how annoying it is. They're so good. They're like, I, I think about how I was when I was a kid and I see them like, I want, I want, they're like, I want a sweet potato, you know? I'm like, oh my God. That's like the, it's like you might as well live on like a farm somewhere. Like it's, it's so needs sweet. He to be in a farm somewhere. Where with me, right. I was, as a kid, it was like, I had like a lollipop stuck to my forehead, <laughs> you know? Like anywhere I, I was just fucking shit up, you uh, know? I think maybe I just pay too much attention, to be honest. Should I should have yeah, more than more? Yeah, maybe. Because I, like, like Kasim said, the difference when it was just us guys there, it was like kids didn't exist. But yeah. And then when you're there, it's like kids are the main focus of the whole day. Oh, yeah. You're doing something wrong. We just fully no, you're the best. You're doing you're doing things right. We were probably negligent. <laughs> right? <laughs> we didn't well, see Bo for I'm like, three hours. Has Bo been playing Roblox since one o'clock? We're like, who's Bo? Like, I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what? Bo the mailman? <laughs> exactly. I th yeah. Um the, we didn't. We got there and didn't see Bo for two to I three hours. I had to ask him to come out. Hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, uh, I like to make him feel bad about it. Well, <laughs> to his defense, I, he doesn't. He doesn't get his iPad all week now until Friday afternoon. Yeah. So. Which he, is basically torture. It is, and actually, there was a point yesterday where I almost recanted it because. He was like, "Mommy, I just like please, like it's I a love it. Like yeah. I really love it." And he's been so good about school and he hasn't been fighting me and he's been doing his assignments and he's been a really good listener during his classes and I was just like, "You have 30 minutes, but when I say it's time to get off, you cannot argue with me." Once. "Mommy, I'm a fucking gamer." <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> That's just him trying different methods. You got to well, see Well, worked, but when I said it's dinner time, he yeah. goes, "Okay, good. bye guys. Sorry, got to go." Bob, uh, when I was on Tiger Belly, they were talking about this Netflix documentary called The Social, Social Dilemma. Yeah. And I hadn't watched it at that point, but I have since. And it is, did you see it yet? No, I'm going to. You got to, man. The The correlation between drugs and screen time and like- it's what? The, what? What's going on in your body versus like, anticipating drugs or using drugs is like it's very similar to what we get when we like are checking our phones for like likes and you know that feel, like it's it's important to watch i think as a parent for sure <sighs> rob's already living this life i think you saw i think you saw the uh, hear that ladies it's ask pajama thing <laughs> ask pajama uh, so yeah when people say good shit about me Casim like, never brings up the email that's so why part of me like doesn't want to watch it i know i should but it's like there's just so much of what you shouldn't be doing and this and that yeah. and it's just they ask these guys much. they have um all these people that are like guys that <laughs> were there um early on twitter facebook guys that invented the like button they asked them do you let your kids use social media and they all said no like they all said no way because they know exactly what social media is designed to do and like 
how it affects people and 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 it's it's just crazy to think that that's I'm not saying you're you're doing anything wrong. I'm just no. saying it's no, cool no, to be more mindful. But yeah, you're, I mean, I'm hope I'm these ho- kids. I, I think I've said this before, but I'm hoping that Bo's generation, by the time he gets to be like a teenager, is like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, because he right now is like, what? What are you putting that on Instagram? Like yeah. he doesn't. And I'm like, oh yeah, maybe it is stupid. I have a friend named V who's a poker player, and we actually had this discussion like two days ago, where he's like, we're talking about him being addicted to, like, not just poker, but like. His computer is right there. It's right there in the bedroom. He he lives in Canada, so it's legal to play online poker. Mm-hmm. And it's like he's like, yeah, tomorrow when I wake up, uh, you know, I'm gonna work out and I'm gonna do this. I'm, and I, he sets up like his whole day, and then he like wakes up and eight hours later, he's sitting there on the thing, just like clicking, and he hasn't moved. And he's like, I my plan is to not do that. And he's like, but I just get dr-. and I'm like, dude, you sound like a an addict. Yes. Like you know, you sound like you can't. He's like. It, it it's like he's like I want to do one thing and it's just this force doing something to our pulling brains, me yeah? to do this uh, yeah it's like yeah. it's crazy I I think it just in the last five six years it's become so much harder to watch a movie just watch a movie mm-hmm. without Jack can't getting watch a on TV my phone show. and now I base how good a movie is by how often I checked my phone if I watched a movie and I only checked it like once or didn't at all I'm like ooh I was engrossed yeah. that movie was good. See, but, I keep my ringer off. I've yeah. never checked my phone once during a movie or a TV show. I keep yeah. my phone in the other room when I'm in my. I room. do that a lot. You're I a, leave my phone in another room of that I'm in. You're a dying breed. I mean, what you, what you, your relationship with social media for somebody your age is like uncommon, <laughs> but it's like way healthier. You were way on healthier. it for like a minute, maybe. I, yeah, I was on it for maybe like a year, and yeah. then and then like for a year and a half in Vegas, I never looked at it, you know, because of this show now, like. A couple of times a week, I'll check and see where things at. And, yeah. you know, we're doing good. I want to make sure, like, what's going on. But before that, I didn't even know how to get to somebody's stuff if yeah. I had to. Yeah. No, fuck it. Well, Social Dilemma on Netflix. Just Watch stick it with us. And, and it's sad. a good thing my friend is a fucking good poker player. Because there's people out there who are addicted and they suck. And then oh, they're just, like, losing their fucking house. Imagine. At least he fucking knows what he's doing. Yeah. Ditch your social media, except follow us on Instagram and <laughs> our YouTube channel. Social media is horrible, except for yeah. PJ Pants. We're pretty good on PJ Pants Instagram. We only you know post a couple times a week, and uh, I, I like. But to it's think quality. We, it's to, uh, such quality. We barely make a dent in your world on your feed, mm-hmm. you know. And so we're about to hit seven thousand followers on Instagram. Wow. And we broke twenty thousand subscribers on YouTube, and we hit a million views on our channel as of. Yesterday? Hey now. Yeah. Congrats. You never know. You might see my boobs. This is right too. Oh. Oh. If we get, if we get. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. We got to get that to play whenever Jamie says something sexual. We can hit that button and it's like, oh yeah. Um. Yes. If if we got if we got no we have to make it reasonable. I was gonna say if we get a million followers, would you show a boob? On Instagram. I, would you, you hey, have a hey, this fans? is your world, Jamie. I, we, we'd let you do it on OnlyFans so you could make a buck. No. Yeah. Please. What would have to happen to, for pajama pants for you to show a boob? You'd probably want to show both to let them know, like, hey, I they look like the same. I feel like we have to talk to Cutter about this. Yeah. But what what would a thing be that would even he entice would show you to talk to, to, cuz, to I Cutter? I mean, you know him. Like a down payment on a house. He's more, he's interested in, like, the financial. He wants real estate. Yeah. Yeah. And if it gets real but see, estate. But here's, see, here's the fucked up thing. I just realized I'm negotiating this and there's nothing in it for me because all the money goes to Jamie and I don't want to no, see Jamie's get boobs. No, get followers. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you were talking about a down payment on a house. Down payment on a house doesn't do anything for me. I mean, I spend a lot of time at your house. <laughs> yeah, so maybe it does. Okay, If it's yeah. a vacation house, you can for sure stay there. It's got to be a nice house. Oh, I would totally look at your boobs and it's not because oh, it's in a sexual way. It's just because I'm curious. You could it, right? Well, here's the thing. I've seen the, I've seen your boob already, so I guess it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, but not really. Like You've seen like the whole thing. I would look at Dre's tits. But that's different. I know, but I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, do, no, I would not want to see your boob. And if like, if I saw you like bending over to do something with the kids and I saw like your, I could see your boob from there, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't look. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Rob would be like this. I'd be like this. <laughs> yeah. Boom. It's up there Zoom. and you got nothing, Jamie. You got nothing but a chasm. But I'd still be your, I'd still be your bud. I just, I like to, I like to know, like I'd want to see like gap. I, uh, what? I'd want to see any any female. I just want to see what you're built like. I don't. It's not. You'd it still be have her. To be sexual. You'd still be her bud. What did you think? We thought there was a possibility. Gabby, I'd still be your bud. We thought there was a world where you would see Jamie's tits and stop being friends with her. 
No, no, no. I t- it would just I'd be still like be, be like, hey, be like Kasim, did you see my boobs? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's me? putting his shoes on. <laughs> dude, like, let's see your tits, dude. Come uh, on, brush. That's how he would talk to his girlfriend, by the way. I fucking hate that, and you know that. I hate that. Yeah. What? She's uh, anemic, dude. No. What's it, that mean? I, wait, <laughs> I'm anemic. We'll save it for another show because I have to pee. Oh, okay. But yeah. I hate this. I oh, yeah. hate that. But That's I don't do that regularly. I hate when men do that to me. Or, or I hate, not men, but like I hate when Cutter does it Jeez. to me where he'll be like, James. And oh. I'm like, yo, I'm not a fucking bro, man. Come on, bro. Let me see your taste. Even when you are a bro, I have a friend who used to I do that. I hate, hate it. it. And then or I point it like out. This, this too. Oh, insane. <sighs> you know what I do? I do the. That's fine. That's fine. See? See, That's we're fine. just like you guys. We love this podcast so much. We don't want it to end. No. We gotta end but it. I gotta go tinkle. Yeah, Jamie has to pee. You're paying attention. Look, and and he just, never listens to women. Just for clarity, look, it's fine. I would also w- would want to see Bryce uh, without his pants on. Okay, thanks for f- uh, following us on Instagram and YouTube, just and hit the subscribe curiosity. button, and uh, and that's it. Thank. By you. the way, I thought of a good name. I we gotta tell Gilbert this. I thought of a good name for uh, George because you you said he sounds like Buzz Lightyear. His name should be Buzzkill Lightyear. Buzzkill. Oh! Lightyear. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks. That's so good. To a finite amount and just below. (laughs) And we're out of here, guys. Jamie's going to pee in the fucking chair.